here we are. It's another best day ever. Ah, all right, here we are. It's another amazing day. Feel like it's been quite some time since we've connected. <sighs> feels good, feels right at home. Don't you feel naked when we don't have our lives? I saw somebody popped in. Hi, Samantha, yay, you made it. Um, I feel so naked. Like last week I saw somebody post, like, are we having a live? And I was like, it's Thanksgiving, but I kind of feel like doing a live. I, I, I kind of feel naked in this moment. Um, so it always feels good to reconnect. Hi, Christine, Christine and Christine. Christine, I just happened to come on and see your awesome results already. Um, so congratulations, things are definitely working for you. And I am so excited for your Jeep pick. For those of you that ha didn't see that picture, when I post that picture of me flexing with the Jeep, um, Christine was like, I'm gonna do that with my Jeep. That's gonna be my 2021 goal. So I'm holding you to it. And I'm telling you, you're on the right path. Like it's happening. I think that, I think it's coming sooner than you think. Um, wow. All right, I'm kind of like all over the place. I'm just gonna be honest with you. There's a lot going on. I feel like it was Thanksgiving just last week and then I went up for a memorial. It was an incredible memorial for our friends um, passing. But I just honestly feel kind of like blurry. Just there's like so much going on right now and it just feels, yeah, blurry. Blurry is the word. But we're here. We started our Real Foods Challenge and I am so excited to share with you another recipe because I looked at the menu and I was like, I'm craving bagels, but it's a carb day. So I thought it was appropriate to create our bagel recipe because that is one of my favorite recipes of 2020 and make a carb version of it so that on a carb day, you can have a bagel. On a fat day, you can have a bagel. Uh, but before we get into that, um, I just, for those of you that didn't hear my mantra, definitely listen to it because it's just real pure, real talk all about kind of where this all started, why I'm getting back to real and how I'm feeling so amazing. But before we um, dig into a little bit more of that topic, I thought I would just preface this by saying, like I keep saying this disclaimer out there, like I'm not opposed to protein powders. I am not opposed to having a protein bar. Like disclaimer, I am not saying I'm never gonna have one again and I'm not saying that any of you cannot have one again. Absolutely not. It's a G Fit lifestyle. We're all talking, it's all about being balanced, being healthy, and yes, healthy, good protein powders or bars, finding the right ones the right, from the right companies that you know um, put together quality stuff. It's great, okay? But the problem lies when your intake of protein shakes and bars becomes more than your real food. And in the day and age that we're living in right now, convenience. It's, we want quick, we want fast, we wanna grab, we wanna go, we want all of these quick things. And here I am doing that exact same thing. I'm grabbing the shake, I'm grabbing like that quick go-to. Oh, it's a fat day, I'm just gonna grab this bar. Oh, it satisfies my craving. Oh, it's a, you know, I, I, I don't feel like making my lean protein, so I'm just gonna have a shake. And it just so happens that I was part owner of a protein powder company and we created an amazing shake. And so what happened is I started having too many. So even too much of the good thing can be not so good. And so the bottom line is with all of this is that I want to help you guys continue to grow, continue to reflect and see like, where can I, where can I pivot? Where can I improve? Because as much as we all wanna like look in the mirror and feel fabulous and be like, oh, I love my body. Oh, look at my abs. At the end of the day, this is more than that. This is more about helping you to get better at life, to get help you to, to crush those things that are holding you back. And sometimes we don't realize what those things are, but we have to have that hard conversation with ourselves and say, what is the one thing that I can eliminate from my life? Whether it be a food, a person, a thing, whatever it is, there's things that are holding us back. And if we can identify what those things are, then it just takes us to that next level. And it's a constant evolution. I posted this morning pictures of baby Gina. Like there's not a, I'm going to get to that finish line and be done. Christine, it's not, I'm going to get to that flex pick and there we go. I'm done. We're constantly growing and learning. And so it's through all of these challenges. Maybe you're somebody who's like, Gina, I'm not really abusing shakes and bars. Like I'm, I'm, I'm good there but it's just proving to yourself you can do something. It's trying to get you out of your box and out of that comfort zone to help you continue to grow. So maybe this is a 21 day fun challenge for some of you that's just like, yeah, I wanna prove that I can do this. 
well, somebody, Michelle, she's going out of town and had messaged me privately. Like, I want to do this when I get back from town because it's going to be a little bit challenging. And I was like, you're up for a good challenge. We have to continue to find ways to challenge ourselves because that is where we constantly grow and we learn more about ourselves and our capabilities and that we don't need to depend on these things. That's the thing is realizing that we don't have to de depend on all of these things. And when we can become not dependent on a person or a thing, then all of a sudden it gives us the biggest amount of confidence and freedom ever. So before we get into a few of the questions, I wanted to, um, I wanted to go through what will happen for you on this real foods challenge. And you might notice that you'll see these things, um, happen in the three weeks. And to be honest with you, they're going to continue to happen as you continue on. So I started by dabbling in this personally myself, cause I will never put something out there that I don't do myself believe in wholeheartedly. And so I did just that and it was 21 days and I was like, oh my gosh, I feel so good. And I never felt bad. Let me explain that too. I never felt bad, but I felt good. Now I feel great. And it's not until you start to change these things that you realize maybe how good you felt and now how great you feel by, by changing it up. So I always felt good, but I knew that, you know, this intake's a little bit high. I'm feeling bloated. I know what that is, but at the end of the day, that bloat is kind of, you know, not necessarily super fun. So I knew what the trigger was. I knew what it was that was causing these things, causing these symptoms, and that gave me peace. Like I knew, okay, it's because of my shakes, but guess what? They're so good and they're keeping me on track, so I'm gonna continue with them. Um, however, now I'm like, oh my gosh, to live, I used to wake up with a flat belly and go to bed with like a rounded belly. In the morning it would be gone again, but to live all day with like flatness and not feel bloated and puffy and all of those things, it is just like the best feeling ever because we want to feel good all the time. We don't want to just feel good in the morning before we have our first meal, right? So if anything, my friends, this is all about just challenging you, proving to you, you can do something. And I do this in different ways, whether it's a real food challenge, whether it's a plank challenge, whether it's an ab challenge, whatever it may be, there are just different ways for me to challenge you to get better at life, to get better at fitness. And in the interim, you reach your body goals. But my bigger picture is more than just the body goals. Those are going to come. That's like, that's in the bag. We've got that. But this is the more than that. Okay. So I wanted to go through, I wanted to go through a few of these points. Hold on just one second here. Grab your water while I find them on my phone. Here we go. Okay, the first thing that you're gonna notice, hopefully within, maybe if you've already started to notice this, is your energy. Oftentimes, we think we have this energy, but when we're bombarded by processed stuff, it tends to weigh us down. So I started feeling more energetic, and these are all things that I started documenting once I started this Real Foods Challenge. The second thing is confidence. I did not think I could do this. I, that's why I didn't do it for, I held off on doing it for a long time, because I was like, I can't do this. I've been doing protein bars and protein shakes for 15 plus years. Hence the reason why I started our own protein powder company, because it was like, if I'm already going to be using this protein, I want to get a good quality. I know what I'm intaking kind of thing. So this has been like a long time coming. I had no idea. I was like, how am I going to do this? I knew it was going to be hard. And when something is hard, I want to take it on. So the confidence that comes from proving to yourself you can do something, whether it's a real foods challenge, whether it's a plank challenge, whether it's a breakthrough challenge, whether it's a workout for the day, whether it's a yoga, embrace the stillness, all of these little things increase our confidence that we can do this. Clarity, fogginess in the head. There's so much clarity that comes from removing stuff. So there's in processed foods, my, there are so many things that get added to these products, right? And it's like pure and real. We just know that works. Like the, the richer we can get to nature, the richer we can get to soil, the better we're going to be. There's so much clarity that comes from that. But I get it. We live in 2020. We need convenience. So the goal is, is we find the best of those convenience food. However, when you remove them and you get like these real rich nutrient foods, it's amazing how much better you feel. Like you feel clarity. Sometimes you don't realize that that fogginess is coming from the food that we're eating. Purpose, 
This gives you a sense of purpose. 21 days, this is my goal, this is what I'm doing. And I feel like right now, more than ever, having these simple focuses and these simple things to focus on as we're digging through this challenging chapter of life that we're all in is epic. So having that purpose is key. Skin. I was having the craziest like breakouts. You may have even noticed, like probably like, un, you know, noticed through the lives. There was some skin issues that I was having. This tends to be hormonal anytime it's around the jawline. So there was probably more to it, but I was having some skin issues, stress, whatever it may be. And when your body is trying to process something and shed it, get it out, because it's like, I'm not liking this, it can show up as bloat, as fatigue, as fogginess in your skin. So I started noticing right away more of a glow. I started noticing like I was, the, the breakouts were diminishing. And this is only like in a small amount of time, okay? Productivity. I felt so much more productive because I had higher energy. My confidence was through the roof, especially after one full week of doing it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm doing this. I'm like, I'm actually doing this. So your productivity increases. Knowledge, you start to learn your body and what is causing and what is happening. Knowledge is power. Knowing what is happening and knowing what is internally going on is so huge. So when we can start to learn our bodies better, that is all we can ask for. Uh, digestion and deep bloat. I mentioned this before. I used to wake up flat belly, even after all the veggies that I eat. And then progressively throughout the day, it would just like, I would get more and more bloated and just kind of feel large and in charge knowing what it was. I knew it would pass, but it wasn't really super comfortable. So you, the digestion I've noticed like in the morning, you know, bowel movements are quicker, quicker. Yeah. TMI. And they're just, they go right through you. My food is processing so much better. It's not getting bound up in my intestines. So I'm noting, noticing less bloat, better digestion. Next one, decrease in water retention. I've noticed a decrease in my, the water retention in my, my belly, in my, my skin, waking up with less water retention around my face. And the thing is, is that I'm so consistent that as I'm saying these things, you, there are so many variables that can cause these symptoms and these symptoms to go away. But because I'm so consistent and I changed one thing, I have like sound evidence that this is where this was coming from. Okay, reduced cravings. I know it sounds crazy because your cravings may go up as you get going, right? Because at first you're like, I used to use those shakes to satisfy those cravings and now I don't. So the cravings may go up. However, a lot of times those cravings are processed foods or protein powders or bars. I'm sure that you all can relate to this. They almost trigger more. Like you have a craving, you satisfy that craving and five minutes later you're like, oh my gosh, now it's back, I want more. It's like there's like this, uh, something in the food that triggers that craving to want more. The more real we can get, I've noticed that my cravings are going down. I found ways to satisfy them, but the cravings are not like they were before. And that's huge. Um, control, having that sense of being in the driver's seat and saying, no, you don't control me. They did at one point. I used to wait. I could not wait to get home to make my shake. They controlled me to have that control and be like, oh no, 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 you don't control me. I control my choices is huge. And this is when you're like, really intimacy? Heck yes, intimacy improve, improve, increases. Because at the end of the day, when you're bloated and you feel puffy and you feel lethargic and you just feel blah, who wants to do that? I mean, come on, let's just be real, right? So intimacy increases when you feel better about yourself, when you feel less bloated, when you feel all those things, you're like, all right, let's, let's bring it on. All right, just super real talk with you. But all of these things are things that I noticed. And so one of the questions comes up is, uh, let me get back to that question feed because it was all about this. Um, okay, how long of being on this challenge does it take for the body to adjust? You're gonna notice things happening pretty quickly. Even if it's just one thing, like, oh my God, confidence, like I can do this, that's huge. You're gonna notice maybe energy, clarity. Out of those 13 things, you're going to notice some of them. Maybe it's just one, maybe it's all 13, maybe it's seven. You will start to notice something within these 21 days. And I know already within three days, you've probably already started to notice anything. If anything, it's like, oh my God, I'm doing this. Um, so that is 21 days, you'll start to notice. But here's the thing. This is why I'm continuing and I'm committing to 365 days is that 
after so many years of putting things in your system, whether it's processed foods, whether it's sugar. So if, for those of you, some of you are new, like over all this time, we've woven this basket and we've been putting this stuff in our system. Do you think that after a week or after three weeks, like our body's like golden good? No, we continue to reap the benefits over time and it happens over time, exactly that. That's why I loved it when you said that, Christine, like slow and steady, because over time, I feel so good now that I'm like, you know what? Imagine if I keep on this path. There's so much that has been put in my system of shake and shake and shake and shake and shake and bar and shake and shake and shake. It's like, I need to give my body time to shed all of that and to detox all of that. So personally, I'm giving it more time because I'm like, wow, this just goes to show how much it was affecting my skin, my energy, my everything, that if I keep this going, if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? Like if it's feeling good and I'm feeling great, then I'm on this path and I'm gonna continue on. Now, some people say like, well, why wouldn't you just have like a shake here and there? You're talking about balance because I just wanna cleanse. I just wanna go full force. It's almost like, why even tease it? Like, I, it's not necessary. I found ways to satisfy those cravings. I found ways to now have what I want without having that thing that was holding me back. So when you find those things that are the bagels and all these fun recipes that we're sharing, why would you, right? So yes, it's not gonna hurt me. And yes, we're all talking about balance, but I'm on a mission. I'm like, I'm like clear focus. When I have that laser focus, I don't get distracted by all of this stuff. So it doesn't even uh, phase me. So as you get focused and as you start feeling amazing, it's like, you're just gonna continue on this path. So you're gonna continue to notice changes. And even if you're not me and you're just doing this for 21 days, as you continue beyond that, you may notice that just your reduction of just, you know, I think a lot of things we do are habits. Like, oh, I'm in a hurry, grab my shake and go. Oh, it's a fat day, oh, there's almonds there, but a bar is much easier. So, so much of what we do is habit. And so much of what I wanna teach you is to be more aware of those choices and to not let just habit get in the way and where you're more in control and consciously making your choices. Okay, this is the easier choice, but if I prep those bagels and I can grab a bagel and be out on the, get out on the, on the go just as quickly, you know, we have those choices. So it's just be bringing more awareness to the choices that you're making on a daily basis. And I think that is really key. So if I can just help you to be more aware and to kind of break those habits of grab that shake and go, then that's, my job is done. Well, not done, but it's, it's doing good. Okay. Um, next question. This is from Joanne. She says, what size pan do you make the brownies in? You know, I've made them in an eight by 13. I've made them in a big Pyrex because sometimes I'll make them a little bit thinner so that I can cut them into more servings and have more. So it just, it depends on what you have available. Just note the serving size and then you can just cut accordingly and adjust that serving size based on how many brownies that you get. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited for you guys to try these recipes because this is where a lot of them came from as I was like, okay, it's shake time, but I can't have a shake. So what can I have? The bagel recipe and the, the, all of these, you know, um, frozen yogurt recipes and using the Fahe Greek yogurt, all of these things came from a need of like, I have a craving. How can I satisfy that? I can't use a shake. I can't use a bar, but there's a way. And I love to find those ways. Um, with that being said, Jennifer Frizzell, if you're watching this, um, and I know some of you have issues with dairy um, and legit issues. Like there's some people that think it's the dairy, but maybe it's the processed foods. However, there are people that do have the issues with dairy. I know Jennifer Frizzell is very sensitive to dairy. I know Christine Armitage is. So, you know, for those people that are really sensitive and can't have the Greek yogurt, there are alternatives. Uh, there's the almond. Somebody brought that to my attention. Actually, there's a really delicious, I've never tried it, almond um, yogurt, which I'm gonna try now because I'm intrigued. It is higher fat, so it wouldn't be an exact swap for lean protein, okay? But if a serving size is six ounces and you're having a tablespoon or two to put over your yam cake, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you you can't do that. So just a dollop or two is not gonna hurt you um, if you're just trying to get that kind of extra moisture on top of a mug cake but just note that it is not the same as a lean protein because it's higher fat. So when it comes to a lean protein, we're looking for pure protein source. We're not looking for those extra fats. 
So while a dollop or two on a mug cake is not gonna hurt you, just know that it's not an equal swap to the Fahe Greek yogurt or to lean protein. Just wanted to mention that. Okay, so now let's make these bagels. So it was a carb day. Today's a carb day. And I was like, I'm really wanting a bagel. So I made some bagels. I made these amazing bagels and they're just like the other ones. We're gonna call these the G Fit Pizza Bagel because I put pizza seasoning inside. They came out fantastic. And um, I also wanna tell you guys that part of this Real Foods Challenge is to find ways for convenience because so many reasons why we grab that bar, we grab that shake is out of convenience. So if we can take a little tiny, tiny bit of time, this doesn't take a lot of time, to create these recipes, bag them up right you put like these are the carb ones you put them in your bag they literally take 45 minutes by the time you bake them you make them and you bake them 45 minutes okay so it's not like that much time it's time but we're not going to count the time that's in the oven because you can be doing other things while it's in the oven so you bake these things you put them in your little baggies you can label them carb bagels or almond bagels or you know whatever carb day fat day whatever you want we all know that one bagel is one serving and you can freeze these, okay? So people think like food prep is so hard. It's about just being, get, making the most out of your prep time. If you can bulk prep, freeze them. You've got a week's worth of bagels, whether it's a carb day or a fat day, boom, we're done, okay? So I'm gonna show you a really quick way to do this. Um, another convenience item, so two I wanna share with you today, bulk prep, make those bagels. Second one is I use these Egg Whites International. You guys know, if you've been around for some time, one of the questions that's always come up is like egg whites, like cracking them or pump like egg white, um, liquid egg whites. And I've always done this version because I wasn't eating a ton of eggs. I was doing more shakes, but it wasn't until this real foods kick that I'm on that I was like, okay, eggs are going to be like really high on my list and I'm going to be going through eggs like crazy. So I need a much more convenient way to do that. And that's why I love these. Um, this product is it's good quality. I know the owner, he's a doll. He's here local in kind of the LA area, but he ships everywhere. He's super personable. If you get him on the phone, it's almost like you can't get him off. Um, but I'm really big on that. So I love this brand and you do get a code G fit. If you order from him, he'll throw in a shirt too. Um, but you can, get whatever liquid egg whites. I just am very familiar with this brand and I love them. Um, they're pure liquid egg whites. There's nothing more in them. They're organic, they're good. Not two things are created equal, okay? So knowing where it's coming from as you explore this whole world that we're kind of experimenting with. Egg whites are not egg whites. You need to look at the label, make sure they're just pure egg whites. A lot of times they'll throw fillers in those foods. So make sure that you're mindful of that. This is legit stuff. So when it comes to convenience, what I love about this is here, let me see if I can um, kind of put you down right here, is literally I keep this in my fridge and I get it by the gallon. So you see, this is like a whole gallon. I think I get two gallons and two half gallons because of space issues. And you see, I pump, that's one egg white. Here's two egg whites. Here's three egg whites. Here's four egg whites. Here's five egg whites. Here's six six egg whites. All right. So we're about six egg whites is three quarter cups. I'm just going to do a little bit more because there's some bubbles on the top. But as you see how easy that is, right? Just pump and pump and pump. I do measure it because to say one full pump, I mean, do you have a weak pump? Do you have a heavy pump? Like how big is your pump? So just, this was about six egg whites, six pumps and it was about three quarters cups. So whether it's six, seven egg whites, an egg white's not going to kill you. Um, six to seven equals about three quarter cup. Now this shaves a whole lot of time off of your cracking. I haven't timed it, but I would say to crack six egg whites, we're looking at like, I don't know. I'd have to do that experiment at some point. Like, I don't know, maybe what, 90 seconds? I don't know. Well, I probably gotten pretty good at the cracking. Maybe it's under a minute. But anyways, every minute that we can slice off time in our day is magic, right? We need to give those minutes back into other areas of our life. So I've just found that this is like super easy. Pump, 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 pump. Make my omelet, make my mug cake, make these bagels, whatever it is. Okay, so let's dig into this recipe. It's very similar to the other recipe. I already have it in the app, so you guys can check it out and enjoy. Uh, so let's, let's get this one going. Okay, so what I have done 
is, I always reference the recipes even though I make them all the time just to make sure. Okay, here we go. All right, so I did six egg whites because I'm tripling this recipe, all right? So we've got six egg whites here, whether you crack them or whether you pump them. Three quarter cup liquid egg whites, six to seven egg whites right there. And um, then I did one cup of oat bran, okay? And I like to use the oat bran over oatmeal. You can use um, quick oats, but I, the finer the better when it comes to baking. So I've just found that oat bran is a winner. So I'm gonna do one cup of oat bran. Okay, so these are gonna be on a carb day and one bagel is gonna be two servings of carbs. So equal to a half cup of oatmeal or about 27 grams. Okay, and then we've got um, four tablespoons of water. So it's a quarter cup plus two, let's just say four. So one, two, three, four, five, it's six tablespoons and six. And then remember that good old um, apple cider vinegar just kind of helps kind of make them a little bit more rounded and puffy. So we're gonna do that. For those of you that have not made the bagels yet, it's a must. These are like seriously best recipe of 2020. Um, let's focus on the good things of 2020, like making bagels. Four, okay, five, one more, and six. Love apple cider vinegar. Ha, little splash for good luck. Okay, there we go. Now we've got um, baking powder. Same as we did with the bagel. So, so far you guys are seeing the only difference here is that I use the oat bran instead of the um, almond flour. Okay, so I've been doing this a long time. I'm just kind of eyeing that. Okay, we're good on that. Um, okay, instead of everything but the bagel, you can use any seasoning that you want. I just so happen to have this pizza. This one's from uh, Flavor Gods. I used to, I had this pizza flavoring. And I was like, pizza bagels? That sounds really, really good. So I'm gonna use this pizza um, flavoring, but you don't need to use pizza. I mean, if I look at the back of this, okay, what is it? It's tomato powder, garlic, paprika, sea salt, black pepper, basil, coriander, oregano, and parsley. So you can get all of those. Maybe I'll put that in there as well so you guys can check it out. But um, here is the bagel seasoning. I don't know why it's kind of clumpy, but I'm just gonna throw this in there. So whether you use your own uh, your own seasoning, maybe you have a, a go-to favorite, or you have a variation of like a pizza, I'm gonna use this. I don't know, pizza bagels just sounded so good. All right, so then I use that instead of everything from but the bagel. Now the psyllium husk. This is probably another reason why my digestion is so through the roof right now. Extra fiber. Psyllium husks, it adds that bulk. This is one of the, the foods that's on the list is like a, as, a, as a staple here in this program. So let's go ahead and do the psyllium husk. So we're doing same thing as we did for the no carb bagels. We're gonna do six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Booyah. And some, okay, we're not doing the flaxseed because that was not, uh, we're not doing the fats. So I'm gonna just do a, just a smidge of the xanthan gum. I didn't make it without them. I just thought, you know, a little bit more of that chewiness because that's what the xanthan gum does. It gives it more of that kind of gooey chewiness. So I'm just gonna do about a half teaspoon of the xanthan gum in there. And a few other just fun ingredients. I added in some extra garlic because I am a garlic lover, even though there's some in that bagel seasoning. And then, I don't know, when you think of pizza, I think of like red pepper flakes and I just love red pepper flakes. So I added some red pepper flakes inside and on top of the bagels. So look how easy this is. I think it's probably five minute prep time. Okay, there we go. Lots of red pepper. Okay, I don't even know why I keep this thing on there because I always take it off. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm just simply gonna mix this all up and you create your batter. And I will do this later because I already have them pre-prepped. Okay, move this out of the way. And now you bake them for about 20 minutes, similar to the others, and you get these fantastic bagels. You see how how they just, I mean, they're perfect. It's like the, look at this, bagel, 
bagel, bagel, bagel. Like, I don't understand. I say this all the time, but I just get so excited about our food. And uh, this is what also came about during this whole Real Foods Challenge is, you know, I get simple, creative with stuff. But at the same time, I'm just throwing this in the toaster while I talk to you. Um, the zucchini loaf, my nori wraps, all of these fun creations that I've been doing for a long period of time came about before I was addicted to this protein thing, right? Because I'm like, I'm trying to come up with ways, I have cravings when I was competing. I was like, I want this, but I can't have that. So I'm gonna create this. And so now getting back in the kitchen and being able to create has been so much fun. So if you're somebody that just wants to keep it simple, like you see there's recipe options in the menu, you can, you can just say negative, I'm not really wanting to do this. I just wanna to stick to simple. I wanna to stick to this, like the six egg whites and the half cup of oats. If that is good and you're able to stick to it and that just kind of gives you a peace of mind and keeps things simple, perfect. You don't need to get crazy with these fun recipes. However, they are super fun. So I encourage you to try. You never know what you might find that, that you love. Uh, but if you're somebody that just kind of needs variety, needs to change it up, and you're somebody that like the reason why you're not able to stick to something is because you get really bored, that's where the recipes come in, is giving you these fun ways to still satisfy those sweet cravings. All right, so now we've got our bagels, we've put them all in our bag, we've labeled them up as, you know, these are the carb bagels, maybe you wanna put carb on here, where is it, right here. You wanna put, if you so you don't forget, one bagel equals one serving, one bagel equals two carb swap, whatever you wanna do, pretty soon you won't have to do all that, but if it just kinda of reminds you and less thinking when you're grabbing and you're like, okay, good, so you've got this, right? So we're, we, we baked these, we're good to go. And guess what? You're already in mode. You're already in prep mode. You already have your oven preheating or, or heating. You may as well make another batch of the low carb. So now you've got your carb, now you've got your low carb. And I don't know about you, but sandwiches are like my thing. Whether it's, it's pasta, it's carbs. It's pasta, it's pizza, it's cereal, and it's sandwiches. Those are my four. Pasta, pizza, cereal, and sandwiches. And so, you know, it's like, it's lunchtime and you want a sandwich and you're like, but I'm on this program and now we have a way. All right, so now we're gonna toast that because toasting always makes everything better, especially these bagels. I just, adding that little bit of crunch is fantastic. Um, so we're gonna toast those and then you're like, okay, I was doing so good. I've got the bagels prepped, these are done. Look at these cutie patooties. Ah, oh, so cute. Um, oh, they smell good too. Okay, so you're like, yay, I prepped my bagels. Gina would be so proud. And then you're like, shoot, I forgot to prep my lean protein. Okay, so I have been doing a lot of like grab and go, whether it be tuna or whether it be um, deli turkey. So I get this like really delicious deli turkey uh, right here. And um, you know, there's different types of deli meats. If you get like the organic and you get just like that rotisserie, they take the turkey and they carve it so beautifully. So I've got that and I keep this on hand for times when I need that quick go-to. All right, so I've got my, my turkey here and uh, now I'm gonna make this delicious sandwich because I am craving a sandwich, right? So I'm gonna do a little bit of tomato and uh, Mustard, throw some mustard on there. Oh my gosh. Did you see those wraps that I had last night? Cannot forget about that peanut sauce. That peanut dipping sauce as a fat source to die for, to die for. So that was delicious. Okay, there we go. So mustard girl, so right here. So I threw the mustard on there, super simple. Now I'm going to throw on there my turkey. Perfect, my slices of tomato. I'm just gonna do one and keep the others on the side. Okay, and then don't forget about sprouts. Does anyone else love sprouts as much as I do? Love sprouts. They just make a sandwich. So now I'm gonna throw this, oh, see the sticker on there. Remove sticker, okay? Then I'm gonna throw the sprouts right on there. Is this not so beautiful? And then lettuce is a freebie, of course, so our sprouts, so our tomatoes, so load up. And then I'm gonna pop this one right on top and we have ourselves a perfect sandwich. If you have, like maybe you're like, I I'm, a, I'm way beyond that, Gina. I've got my 
chicken prepped. I've got my turkey prepped. I'm like, I'm on it. And then you can use that as your lean protein source too. But this is a perfect carb and lean protein option for you. So you've got your deli turkey or your canned tuna that you whip up or whatever if you've prepped your other stuff. And then now you've got your sandwich bread. So there we go, my friends. And this is to die for. It's going to be, it's in the app now. So you can check it out. Super simple, just like our uh, no carb bagel option. And I don't know, I just get super excited. I started, when I started cr making these recipes and eating like this and, and where I would have a shake before, now I'm eating this, I noticed that I'm a lot more satisfied because the others would just go right through me and I would find that I was like waiting for that next meal because I was hungry. But I find that getting more hearty and more real is helping me too to kind of make those meal times last a little bit longer. So, okay, now I'm going to indulge and enjoy this and I can't wait for you guys to try it. Please keep me posted on how you're feeling, what recipes you're loving. Um, maybe recipes that you're not so much loving is fine too. Maybe there's ways I can kind of tweak that too. For example, the mug cake. I was out of pumpkin, so I created it with what I had and I turned it into the uh, sweet potato. Was it sweet potato or it was a yam? So I made it with a yam. But if you don't like the yam, you can use the oatmeal or you can use the pumpkin. I just didn't have it on hand. So there's ways too to tweak those recipes if there's something that you want to kind of um, try. Just let me know if you need any questions with those swaps. But I'm really excited for those of you that are on this challenge. It's 21 days, so I'm doing this for 365 days. I'll be running challenges throughout the year for those that just want to detox, have fun, try new things, uh, keep growing and learning about yourself. But I'm just loving all these recipes that we're coming up with. So on that note, I'm sorry I wasn't super like back and forth with the conversation. I'm like in mode, but I will check up on the comments. And it's so, so happy to be back here with all of you and I can't believe that we are about to close this chapter 2020 this big crazy like chapter that we've all been living but we've all been thriving through no matter what it's so awesome to see so many of us just like crushing it during this time and I think that that says so much so keep focusing on what you can even though Thanksgiving and the month of gratitude is over it's not like keep the gratitude flowing keep digging deep and um, yeah I'm really excited to finish strong in 2021 it's going to be good. It's going to be a really, really good year. All right, my friends, have an incredible day. Best day ever. And I will connect with you real soon. Mwah. Mwah, mwah, mwah.